Hi, Julie. How you doing? I've got your, I've got you, all of your Gene Kellys up here, and I want to take a look at them. All right. So I, first, I think that this transition to this is just fine, and I, and I remember saying that back in in three two, um, that this was this was. I, I think it's great. I think it's exactly what you need to work with. I know that you had mentioned um, the three color alteration didn't provide clean lines and didn't, it, it even anchor even after anchoring and. The shapes were still distorted. See, I don't think they are. I think that you are just set up beautifully here. Now, it, it, now, I know what you're saying about like this right here, you know, and maybe these aren't the most perfect lines to work with, but there is certainly enough here to to work with. Definitely, I think so. Um, so, in a in a in this particular um, illustration here, I, I think the one problem area is going to end up being right here and that's only because he's he's got a pretty square jawline um i mean he, he's got boxer's jaw i mean he's got a boxer i mean he's got a squared up jawline but you just that's one of his features that i think is really a defining characteristic but we lose it right here as this um side of the face kind of goes off into the background and we see that right here as well so that that jaw that chin is just not defined here so i think finding a way to define that is going to really help the shape of the face from there and i can see what you're doing i think oh one more thing i wanted to mention there's a couple of other little characteristics i think this dimple right here is is critical i really do i think that that's critical because not everybody has that he's got like this smirk that's offset by this dimple right here. It's actually, there's two dimples. So I think if you could get those in there, I think that's really going to help. And then he's got these little wrinkles around the eye, which you have kind of right here. But, okay. And then over here, I mean, this looks good. This looks good. I, I would say that if we weren't, um, if we weren't so close to being com completely finished, I would say, let's work on this a little bit more. But I, I still, I don't think you have to. We can get rid of this, okay? And let's just look at what we have for these two guys right here. We got we got gene one and gene two. So I I, I think what you're doing, and based on your writing, it sounds like you're a little bit getting a little frustrated. And it it as of course, yeah, it, this is a this is a really intricate piece. Um, I, I mean, it really is. It, it is for for success in this 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 project. It really takes some time and an enormous amount of experimentation. One of the things I think that I can show you right here, and I'm just gonna open this guy up a little bit because we need, I just wanna make this a little bit easier by getting to these zoom tools. Now, what you're doing here with your type is, this is perfect. And I wanna get in even a little closer because, oops, right here. These are, this is great. You know exactly what you're doing. Exactly what you're doing. This right here, gorgeous. Right here, this is too much. This is um, distorted. And we don't want that. We want what, whoops. We don't want distorted type. We want type to be manipulated like it is here, but not distorted like it is here and here. Do you see what I'm saying? So Julie, I think that this, what this takes is a, just some good old fashioned, some more work. That's all I'm thinking, man. I mean, I, I it, seriously, you got this nose, which, you know what? You're an artist. If, if I remember correctly, you're an artist. And so use some imagination and, or go into this original piece with a pen tool or, <clears throat> or a pencil tool or a brush and clean up that nose by hand so that you have something to work with. Now, now I think that this is okay, I really do. I think if you could build this area with density, first of all, I think that black background is great, really, really dramatic. Um, so in the black being the background where the white is, you're reversing it, which means this area of white here needs to be super dense, like just like this. Not that distorted area, but like this. But, and this is great, but right here, you've just, you're just laying tight flat. So it's got no no dimension. It's not giving us any kind of indication that his head is curving that way. It's just flat. So 
it's not a defining characteristic in this particular portrait. And I think the same can be said about the top here. Um, if you can just adhere to this wonderful kind of freaky rhythmic dance rhythm, <laughs> this, this rhythmic, this right here, just gorgeous. That is your, the key to success right there. Okay. So uh, in summary, I just think it's a matter of this, taking a look at the darkest areas, fill in a jawline first, and you can figure out a way to do that. I don't need to tell you how to do that. But I think this indication <clears throat> of this area right here is just, just, just really underdeveloped. So is this. You really have to look at this as three separate layers. Okay, really two, because the background's there, the white's there. You just have to look at this as two separate layers. One is gray, one is black. Right now, I'm just seeing a blob. And you see what I'm saying? It just looks like a blob. It doesn't look like gray and black. And neither does this, this shadow area right here. It doesn't look because I think that gray that you've chosen is too, it's, it's too light. It's just too... It's too too close to this white. There's not enough difference there to indicate that that's a different shade, a, a different tonal value. So so the eye's not picking it up. So you need to exaggerate that a little bit. For example, this is a different gray right here than this is up here. This is working better because it's darker. Okay. So um, and and anyways, that's that's what I'm saying about that particular part pieces parts of the the portrait is that is that just 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 really stop and and figure out how you're going to fill in these little lines or these areas. And I, I've said this to other students and I've boiled it down to the most simple way I can possibly. And that's think about like this. And, and the only reason I mentioned this is because I've had other students say, Hey, thanks for mentioning that. And it worked. Okay. This is your, your black area or your white area as it were. So you're just taking type and filling that in all these areas, all that black is going to be white. Okay, all of that's going to be white type. Okay, and, and that is the darkest area, so it needs to be the lightest area here, which means you need to pack that type really densely or increase the type size like you've done here and here. Okay, so we really need to get that to look as light as possible next to that black background. Then that will amplify the next color of gray. Right now it doesn't because they're just too close. Okay, then just fill in those areas. Like I said, the white's already there, right? Or in this case, the black's already there. So, okay, I hope I'm making sense. So, I mean, you're, just, you're not doing anything wrong at all. You're doing, you know exactly what you're doing and you're doing it very well. And here's proof, right? Here, <laughs> right here, I wanted to mention that. That's, a, that's just, that's great. I love it, works perfect. It's just not completely finished. Okay, um, that's what I have. Hey, good job. If you have any other uh, questions or if I can help in any other way, please don't hesitate to let me know. Okay, thanks, Julie.